It was so, so good. Seeing Rory Mercury just, just absolutely destroy these shitty ass politicians, bro. Trying to gaslight us, saying, oh, the army did a bad job, bro. They fucking suck. But hey, Lolly Mercury was like, you're an actual child. Are you stupid? Stupid. And it was discovered that Itami has an ex-wife, which is like, damn, bros, like, Honestly, like in the first episode, I was like, oh, Isekai main character must be like a virgin neat weeb. And he is a bit of an otaku. Not a bit, he is, but he's not really a neat. He's, he's got a career and he used to have a wife. Bro's been fucking. Does he have a kid that we don't know about? I don't know. Let's find out in today's reaction. Ex-wife. Who's gonna get jealous at this? Who's gonna get jealous at this? What? Oh, come on! Kuribayashi has been just slandering Itami this entire time. Maybe, yeah? What the fuck? I thought that was Rory for a second. Hardy. Hardy is here. Wait, wait, wait. Did she not say Hardy in the past episodes? I vaguely remember Rory's mentioning the name Hardy and then how it relates to her cult, right? Last episode, when but Hardy wants to marry her, and it was a girl, it's Yuri, right? Yeah, yeah, it was like briefly mentioned, oh, Hardy wants to marry me or some shit. And then this doll reminds her of Hardy? Is, it, is Hardy another apostle? Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Manga, light novels. I mean, they can't really become weebs because they're Japanese, but, you know. Technically, they're not Japanese. Yo, he is back on fuck, though. Yo, why did they... Did they define the toes in the Blu-ray DVD version? Because, like, it's covered. Why would they, why would they do this? Sure, because they the toes... They show that shit all the time in Frieden and other animes, but right now you can't really see the toes being animated. But look at Lele, bro. Look at Lele. I think she's getting used to some video game consoles. What? Pina and Bose is doing behind there. Alright, work. We'll be your apprentices. Lisa san. You need help? Why'd you break up? Why'd you, why'd you divorce? What happened? Yeah, they seem pretty chill. <laughs> swingers? Were they... Were, what, swingers? What, what, what's going on? I, 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 what kind of relationship would that be? You're freaks. That's why you implied in silence. What does she draw? Is that a cat boy? That's a cat boy, right? When I look at the poster, it kind of looked like the, 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 the furry being had a bit of a chest, but I'm starting to realize that this is BL. This is Yaoi. This is a tale of a... Maybe this is an Isekai BL story of a main character that like um, finds a cat boy to love. I think this is what's happening right now. That's what she draws. <laughs> Pina and Boses are gonna get indoctrinated by BL. <laughs> I mean, the fucking cover here. It literally says BL here. It says BL comics down here, bro. Chuka in that sleeping bag is pretty cute. <laughs> Chill, bro. What are they blushing for? Praying? Every day she prays, right? I eat, I pray, I kill. Nice, nice motto. Eat, sleep. Wait, wait, what was it? What was it? Eat, sleep, play? And every other bullshit. This guy's been spitting some fucking real life philosophy that you guys might be just glossing over thinking, oh, he's just saying some funny shit. From the beginning, the way he treated his job and his hobbies, saying a job is just a fucking paycheck, live for yourself. Alimony <laughs> 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 money, that's, that's, that's our payment? That, that's not our payment? Are we going shopping with the alimony money? <laughs> Boza's date. Date, date with Boza's? 
these two, bro, these two, I think last episode, they kind of like bumped into each other in the train, right? And they started blushing. This is a shit, bro. Tomita. Research. Literature. They gonna find all the fucking degenerate BL Yaoi dujins that ever existed, bro. In library. Yes. Tina and Boses can't even hide their faces. Look, look, look. Look how excited they are. Rory seems pretty bored. When a girl says I'm fine like that, she's not fine. Honestly, it'll be perfect, right? It'll be perfect because everyone's gonna think she's cosplaying and every fucking otaku is gonna be lining up with cameras just like taking pictures of her, bro. But there's like other goth Lolita dresses, right? There has to be. Yeah, look! Ooh, CGI's. Oh my god, Chuka. Oh my god, Chuka. God damn, Chuka! <laughs> did, 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 did we bring him to the BL section only in the library? Alright! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Denka, we're beyond the gate right now. She's too excited. A fucking... Dude, going in on a fucking cat boy bottom. That's what they want to fucking see. This is her work. This is the exact panels, right? Boy meets boy is just the title of this. I mean, this, this is exactly what her uh, ex-wife is uh, drawing, right? Hentai's and arts, yes. Oh, what? Who this? Kano Taro. He seems pretty chill. Surely he's not gonna backstab us, right? Surely he won't? Kano. Is he an otaku too? It all started with manga? Yes! He's a man of culture. Okay, thank fucking god. I thought that he's the one that like introduced him to like magical girls and like showed him all the degenerate fucking magical girl shit. But like the anime they're talking about sounds pretty cool. There's gotta be more than just manga in there, right? Or is he truly just getting manga for him because he's a defense minister? Hmm. Guests of honor are missing. Hmm? Oh, whoa, whoa, not a little boy. Return to the original plan and go to the inn guarded by the FSG. Whoa, whoa, what? Return to the inn? Yes, sir. Okay. Yo, what they all buy? She bought a fucking bow? She straight up bought a fucking bow? I'm kind of excited for Rory's new outfits, man. Okay. What's wrong, bow is this and Pina? They just want to see just dudes going on at each other. What did you just say? Wait, 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 wait. You probably had a better shot finding the literature they wanted in Ikebukuro. Because Pina and Bozes weren't able to find the all the, the hardcore yaoi shit. But for some reason, Itami seems to have knowledge that all the hardcore yaoi shit, the BL shit that Pina and Bozes probably wanted, is in Ikebukuro. Hmm. Ryuzaki. More important military personnel that I might have to remember? It's just proxy war going on that he's maintaining? Okay. Open air bath. Yo. Will the guest be there? Oh. Open air bath episode! How are they gonna do like a military operation in a bath episode at the same time? Huh. 
oh, obviously it comes off. Like, what, what did you think? It was gonna, she's gonna have fucking cat ears. Like, there, it's just decoration. But it's just like the first time I saw it come up, I was like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you know? I don't know. It's drones. No drones. Never mind, it's some other people with the binoculars. I'm confused on what they're trying to do right now. This like military operation, the guests are at the bathhouse. Are they protecting them? Are they trying to assassinate them? Assassination makes no sense. They're just guarding them? We're just guarding, yeah? No, we're, 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 we're peeking at them. <laughs> we're not guarding them. He's peeking at them. <laughs> Wow. Bozas though. Ooh, Bozas though. Their first hospering ever, huh? You guys actually wash yourself before the, uh... I don't know. I... Cause like before you go to the swimming pool, right? It's been a long time since I've been to a swimming pool, but it's like proper etiquette to like, you know, shower. Get your fucking dirty ass fucking, you know, cleaned up before you enter a public pool. But a lot of people don't do it. You know? You don't no, <laughs> I don't do that on everybody in chat. It's just like I skip. I don't do it. Nah. I don't give a fuck. I just fucking worked an eight hour shift, had some Taco Bell. I took a massive shit. I ain't fucking wiping. Why would I? The pool is there. Fuck you. <laughs> That's what the chlorine is in the pool for, huh? Assassins? This is what we're guarding against? The grail has been filled. Um, key, co key word? I don't know. They're here? I don't know, actually. Are they on our side? <laughs> I don't fucking know. It's a bunch of dudes. Yeah, sausage fest. So <laughs> this Bro, bro, he he had a sudden realization in his eye. He's like, yes, just the dudes in his yes, yes. Fucking awkward silence. His face fucking cracks. Wait for it. Wait for it. Come on. Come on. Inst oh there it is! There it is! I got it, I got it, I got it on frame music. I'm a woman! Yo, Lily magic! Lily bubble magic! I agree. I think Tomita and Bozes? This is a fucking shit, bro. Kuribayashi already knew. Got the hats for you. The hats. Ooh, how forbidden. Taboo love. These this is why I love VLC player. Could have done that again. <laughs> Lele is still just magic. Lele doesn't give a fuck about this conversation. Almost like childhood friends. I didn't have enough money to eat and his stable salary seems strangely appealing. <laughs> strangely appealing. I wonder what the strange appeal of a stable salary is when I don't got money to eat. It's not really love, is it? It's just... What is it? Codependency or some shit? Because there's a potential that he could die. And if he died, then she might be hurt. So he divorced because of that? Huh. How does she really feel about him then? Start over. Start over. They just had a bad start in the beginning. It was all about funding, you know, her. But like, is there potential then for a remarriage? Start over. But we have Roy Mercury. Hello. Oh, they're drunk. 
Oh, they're drunk. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Wait, what's going on? Ten people casually dead outside while we're just fucking around inside. Hmm? Who are they? Is it different nations? Wasn't like America, China, and Russia around or some shit? Trying to like uh, kidnap? They... Were they trying to kidnap the girls? They bought it in Akihabara? One black, one white. American. American. This is the American president on the right, right? Okay, they're gaslighting us. They're gaslighting us, I think. Give me Lolly Mercury. Does he want Lolly Mercury? Honestly? All the Mercury heading over to America and just fucking shit up. That sounds kind of fun. That sounds kind of fun. Invite them. Invite, quote unquote. <laughs> so they already know that your agents are dead? So like what? They are aware that their agents are fucking dying because of the, the guard and he's telling him he's blackmailing us. Hey, it's not a friendship. You know, you don't want to just let them fucking pass by? This is complicated though. They're just taking orders. This is not... Um, so, the guy that's talking is the American president. Is this the Japanese president? This is, right? This is not like a subordinate or some random politician. This is the Japanese support. Damn. Huh. And, I mean, America can... Pre Isn't that just how kind of, that kind of works in real life, too? Like, actual, like, people with true power can just, like... Uh, what's the word? Just, like... Not brigade, but force their hands like this in a very friendly way, saying, Oh, we're just friends, right? You would do this for me, right? Because if you don't, then I'm gonna fuck you up. Strong arm. Strong arm is the word I'm looking for. Alright. And he has to just listen to the orders, right? Kind of probably thinks this is bullshit. Replace this shitty president. Never mind. Never mind, he's a giga chat. Never mind. Are we gonna get a new president? Prime Minister? Prime Minister Kano? Possible? And if Prime, if Kano becomes Prime Minister, then Itami just has so much access to more things, right? Is that, cause Kano just got introduced today, right? This is what it's setting up for then, right? Huh. If we're friends with the Prime Minister... <laughs> They're all so fucking drunk. Maybe I have been looking down on Kuribayashi's game. I've been underestimating her. But I still think that the other taller human girl is hotter than Kuribayashi. <sighs> She's still drinking? Hello, Lolly Mercury. Oh. Yeah, what's up? Lily, not now. What's going on? <laughs> That's my one thing. That's just like one thing that I have with Lolly Mercury. So like, he's right. It's a shame that I won't get to see what you looked like in your 20s or even like 30s or 40s, like when you're like a MILF. But instead, I have to deal with the Lolly. And I have nothing against Lollies. They're fine. You give them a head pat, and you'd be nice to them. But sometimes, they like to sexualize the lollies, and it's a little hard to defend my position as an anime enjoyer. When sponsors come around, when friends come around, they're like, what kind of anime you like watching? Oh, why is a nine-year-old girl in a fucking thong? Well, well, no. Her name is Demon Lord Milim, okay? And she's like a very ancient... No, none of that shit matters. It doesn't matter if she's 9,000 years old. It's because she looks like a fucking nine-year-old, okay? It is what it is. I thought 
thought she stopped growing. I thought she was locked, permanent locked to a certain position. Wait, wait. Lose the demands and pleasure of the flesh. What does that mean? She's not sexually active? Oh! Transform for me. All right. The moan means that like souls are passing. <laughs> that the souls are passing through the body, right? She starts moaning and horny when, you know, people are dying. <laughs> you want to release that tension? <laughs> <laughs> Go do it. I'll take responsibility if you turn into a 20 year old body, please. Ramirez! Agent Heidegger. The glazing on the Japanese army still, bro. <laughs> Not Mike! Ramirez! Now Mike? Oh no! The Americans are speaking perfect Japanese, huh? Pop, pop. The grail was filled. The grail was shattered. Just code words, right? Okay. Rory's not gonna come out and kill him, no? Where's she? Where's she? Oh, oh. There are laws in this country. <laughs> Child <laughs> protection laws. <laughs> he told me, he's like, bro, I am not going to jail. Please. <laughs> you can't do that now with a kid. Stop. Turn into a MILF then if you can change forms. I know you're like fucking thousands of years old, but come on, it's a bad look. <laughs> Lolly, yet. <laughs> Am I really a kid? <laughs> Itami's hands are just slowly go for her ass. He's like, oh, this is so bad. If I grab it, I'm going to jail. Oh, God, it's so close. I would have folded. I've already folded 10 minutes ago, bro. And that's the episode. What a cliffhanger. What kind of cliffhanger is this? Just to see if he's gonna grab her fucking ass. I'm sure what's gonna happen is that it won't happen, right? Some shots will go outside, some military bullshit, and then it's gonna be like, oh, it's gonna fucking disrupt the, the moment of heat. And I don't know, maybe she'll go there and kill everybody. Today's episode was kind of more set up. The most important character, I guess, is Kano, huh? And the fact that Itami and Kano, they're like, they know each other through common, you know, weeb interests. And now he might actually turn into the prime minister, right? Because based on the wording of the prime minister that's getting bullied by the American president, sounds like he's willing to go down with the ship. And he's like, fuck it, I'll go down. And Kano, you take over. And if that happens, Itami having like a, almost like a big brother figure, a friend as a prime minister of Japan, kind of crazy what kind of influence or what kind of powers that Itami will be bestowed and the things that he could be able to do, right? Kind of crazy. Now, the, the, the American soldiers, they're pretty trash and I think it's intentional to kind of glaze up the Japanese military more because at the end of the day, this is JSDF, you know, propaganda, which I'm all for. And Lolly Mercury, apparently she can change forms into whatever she wants. Some people are saying not just the end, but look, look, look. Again, it's just hard for me to defend myself covering anime content and to be proud of it and tell other people, hey, you should totally check out this anime. Oh yeah, what's that anime about? So, so you see, there's this um, there's this girl that gets really horny when people die around her. And they'll be like, oh yeah? Tell me more. It's like, yeah, she's really cool. So she's name is uh, Rory Mercury. It's like, Rory? Lolly? Is she a little child? It's like, no, no, she's like this ancient person that's ascended to godhood and they're gonna say nah bro she's a fucking child and i'm like you know what you're right and i can't really defend myself and that's the one thing that i have against fucking lollies and this is why i'm a milf enjoyer lollies are simply for head pass but that's it for me if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care